The following program, Know the Cause, is paid for by Mediatrician Incorporated. Joining us today is someone brand new. You know Frank Jordan of Beta Glucan, the NSC company. He's been here for many, many years. His son, who now lives in Australia, joins us today. His name is Jason. We're going to talk about his allergy problem and the taking of the allergy formula that his dad developed. Frank Jordan developed at NSC. Then he's going to be talking about something brand new. For many of you, this is brand new. We know about a 3 and a 10 milligram NSC. Did you know there's a new kit on the block called Max 100 milligram? I'm going to open today's show talking about why are fungal infections so dominant in people who have diabetes? I'll give my opinion on that as we open today's show. This show is brought to you by the NSC Company. When you can't, Beta Glue can. For the past 45 years, I have dedicated my life and my whole career to finding the root cause of disease. And I now know with certainty that we must play a role in our own health care. I'm a self-care advocate, and you know what? Every time you change your diet for the better, exercise, or swallow a nutritional supplement, so are you. Now welcome to Know the Cause. Wow, was that 20 years ago, Dr. Holland and I wrote this book, The Fungus Link to Diabetes, A Cutting Edge Approach to Stopping One of America's Fastest Growing Epidemics in Its Track. And we talk about the role of fungus in diabetes. And you're going to learn a little bit more about this because a new article came out, and here it is. Diabetes and Candida Yeast Infections. Boy, that caught my eye. That was in Medical News Today. Uh, it is, I'm going to quote it. It's important for people with diabetes to recognize symptoms of a fungal infection and receive prompt treatment to avoid potentially serious complications. Yeast naturally lives in the human body. Problems arise when the yeast overgrows, causing a fungal infection. A person with diabetes has a higher risk of de developing a fungal infection, and diabetes can make treating this infection more difficult. Okay, 20 years ago. They're starting to get it, folks. If you've been following this program and my podcasts and radio shows and so forth, then you understand just recently, in September of 2022, doctors at two universities discovered that cancer has fungus or fungal DNA growing in it. Was it 40 years, 45 years ago I told you that? Finally, soon, they're gonna recommend this book as reading for everyone. Why is there yeast? infections more often in diabetics. Researchers, the article says, are still trying to pinpoint the link between yeast overgrowth and diabetes. Might I suggest, folks, and you're going to learn a little bit here, it seems that sugar in diabetic patients' diet might actually activate an underlying yeast or fungal problem. Might diabetes be a dormant yeast problem? I'll provide some data on that. Until glucose conversion transpires or sugar is eaten, diabetic patients seem to be fine. Then sugar begins feeding the yeast, and all of a sudden the symptoms begin. What role might yeast and fungi play in this sugar control disease we call diabetes? It's a logical question, and folks, if I can just refer back, they're saying, well, more work. Every research paper lands with more work is needed. Almost every research paper says, but good news, we're on the verge of new pills. Only a few hundred bucks a month, and we can help you control this yeast overgrowth. Or we can look to our diet as either causal in the diabetic uh, problem uh, or contributing to it. Okay, your diet is so important, and your doctor didn't learn this in his or her medical training. Brilliant people, but they're only as good as their education. Okay. The role of other mycotoxins in diabetes, well, we know a rocotoxin A creates insulin resistance, and isn't that the definition of type 2 diabetes? It also damages the kidney. We know that potulin inhibits, uh, inhibits fungal cells using oxygen. Fungal cells can live without oxygen, so potulin creates an environment favorable to fungal growth. And finally, aflatoxin, that which causes cancer, also has a role in diabetes, blocks the breakdown of sugars in our cells and liver, so our blood sugar levels remain high. Fungus thrive in a high sugar environment. Uh, 
and finally this, folks, there's a class of drugs to treat diabetics uh, called glitazones. Actos Navandia is what they are. Um, an Indian study in 2017, I pulled this up, proved that some of these glitazones exhibited remarkable antifungal activity, while a 2011 Tennessee article declared that these drugs showed the ability to inhibit fungal growth comparable to the anti-yeast medication Diflucan. That isn't uh, it, my acceptance of being on these drugs. Your doctor can make that decision, not me. But what I need to tell you is, folks, we have to give study animals, anytime there's new medication, we got to give bunnies and rats and mice diabetes. How do we do that? We inoculate them with two older antibiotics, streptozotocin and baflomycin, over a six months period, and they all get diabetes. Their beta, pancreatic beta cells don't work anymore. By giving them old antibiotics, wait a minute, I'll bet you every patient who has diabetes as a child or an adult has been on many rounds of antibiotics. Couldn't be, could it? That we're noticing more of the yeast, candida albicans, in diabetic patients because we help put the yeast there innocently with our antibiotics. Probiotics are really good. Talk to your doctor about using them and a diet that really limits the number of carbohydrates or sugars you eat. I hope that helps. And then I, I came back to Texas just recently and uh, was hit with many, many allergens that I haven't dealt with in, in many years. So he was, uh, he was there and said, hey, you're going to like the new product. So he gave me some of the Max to try. And within, uh, within about 24 hours, I was back to homeostasis and, uh, and feeling well and able to go back to my normal dose. You have not met Jason Jordan. Yeah. You met Mark, Frank's son, Frank Jordan's son. You've not met the other son, Jason, all the way from Australia. Yes. Welcome. Thank you Thank for you. coming in Thank today. You. So having a dad who's been in the business of immune uh, repair for so many years, it, did you end up with any health problems that might be linked with bad immunity? Um, well. Yes, uh, as I said to you earlier, I didn't just get his good looks, I got his hereditary uh, allergies as well. So, um, so yes, it's been something that I've dealt with since I was very, very young. And um, over in Australia, uh, he's made sure that I'm, I'm kept in stock. So I have, uh, I have the allergy and the, uh, the original NSC that I take um, just on a regular basis. And then certainly up that to the 100 during uh, spring and summer seasons. The climate there is much like it is in Houston, Texas. So yes. a lot of humidity, a lot of pollen, a lot of different allergens floating through the air. Um, and then I, I came back to Texas just recently and uh, was hit with many, many allergens that I haven't dealt with in, in many years. So he was, uh, he was there and said, hey, you're going to like the new product. So he gave me some of the Max to try. And within, uh, within about 24 hours, I was back to homeostasis and, uh, and feeling well and able to go back to my normal dose. For an allergy person to say within 24 hours, that's unheard of. Can you expound, Frank, on what this Max product, it's a recent revelation. We always had the three milligram NSC24. Right. We always had the, the 10 milligram NSC100, but now there's a new kid on the block called Max. Well, the main reason is we couldn't make enough of the beta glucan to satisfy the Max takes as much beta glucan as all the other NSC products combined. So this is a real breakthrough for us, and for me it's very important. I have asthma and mm -hmm. the allergies. Uh, I only <laughs> wanted to give him the allergies, right. so <laughs> he doesn't have asthma. the allergies. But let me say, the, the problem, and I'll let him expand a little because he studied this, is why the glucan works. A lot of times you hear it works. You take antihistamines, what are you doing? You're treating symptoms, it comes back 99% of the time. We're looking for a deal, it'd be a great program called Know the Cause. <laughs> and we know the cause with Dr. Ken Hunter's medical school research, and part of that is the helper T cells. An allergen comes along, which is something that is supposed to be bad that isn't. It doesn't really cause anything except a lot of trouble and a lot of irritation and a lot of release of histamines that aren't supposed to be released. We come in and readjust the helper T cells, and I'll let, I'm going to let him touch on this, to where only the proper release of histamines are involved. 
not the eosinophils and the uh, mast cells that create constrictions with asthma and allergic asthma. I might add, there's different kinds, but this is mm -hmm. allergic asthma, and that's about 85 percent. And then of all the allergies, you have seasonal. Uh, Jason, God bless me, has has hereditary. Okay. I have hereditary, seasonal, I have them all. all. <laughs> I, I, and actually, I'm gonna get him to tell you about the test with the, you get in the military uh, that he had. And it turned out, we learned this week, we both had this same test, which is, is horrific. <laughs> I wanna tell you, it involves uh, 52 needles. And uh, it's not- Allergy testing? Yes. yes. So yeah. uh, no, Not any fun. So I'm gonna turn it over to him, but I'd just say, if you've got allergies or you've got asthma, God say, please, and I'm saying, yeah. please take this because there is a potential for nutritional relief right here in our formulas. Allergy is defined as an adverse reaction to an otherwise harmless substance. Correct. So genetically you end up with this. Now we've only got about half a minute left and when we get back we'll expound on this. First I want to hear about this test that you went through. So my wife refers to it and many allergy sufferers will know it as the prick test. Okay. And my wife says I passed. So yeah. I'm not sure she's getting exactly where we're going with that. Is that where they prick your back with absolutely. all these different antigens? Yes, yeah, your absolutely. arms and your back? Okay, yes. yeah, yes. I'm very familiar. You went through that? Uh, multiple times. Lots of itching afterwards? Absolutely. I did too. <laughs> you, so that's, okay, so, so that I can uh, land this well during this segment. You were born, you inherited Frank's allergies. Yours were seasonal, now they're perennial, they're year round? All year round, yeah, it depends on climate, but uh, yes. And when you came from Australia here to Texas, all new pollens, let's pick it up from there when we get back in this short break. Great to have you with me. Thank Thanks. you. Really good to have Jason Jordan with your dad all the way from uh, Australia, welcome. But just when you had things calmed with your allergies, you know, in Australia, you come to Houston and wham, a whole new set of allergies hit you. And I think you said a couple of the new max a day, 24 hours. Yeah. Most allergy sufferers, you guys, go through, you know, antigen shots, antigen antibody mm -hmm. shots, and all sorts of medications, antihistamines, and so forth. Nobody really understands in a day that a larger dose of beta glucans might help a lot of people. Is that what you found? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And I might expand on that a little bit as well because along uh, through all the years, uh, the things that I've always done have been treating the symptom as opposed to treating the root cause. Right. And so what beta glucan allows me to do is not get the allergies in the first place. You know, So it's, it's going out and identifying what is the, the, the false, false flag, so to speak, where the histamines are being sent out erroneously mm -hmm. um, but you know it allows me and not not just to not suffer the allergies but everything that goes with that so then you're able to sleep better you're able to do the things yep. that allow you to get through a, a day in, in a good way so um, antihistamines over-the-counter type stuff is is um, look it treats the symptom and you might get some momentary relief but it also comes with side effects for me those side effects were being cranky, being irritable, not getting good sleep, and along uh, th those types of uh, those types of side effects. So, I've uh, definitely seen uh, a, a better way of doing things with beta glucan. Frank, when Frank first met me many years ago, I was the fungus guy, you know, and we got to talking immune system fungus. I think I have him pretty convinced now that fungus takes down a lot of immune systems, the mycotoxins they make. We know that, documented for 50 years. And Frank had the answer. He was the answer to my prayer. How do we take care of the immune system? You modulate it. You put glasses on the white blood cells, right? Uh, Frank, you had two products that I want to talk about. Originally, you had an allergy formula that the world loved. You know how many of those you sell. Then the respiratory formula. Um, and yet they're tweaked a little bit differently. Why? Well, the respiratory involves uh, echinacea. Okay. Which uh, the allergy doesn't because it just doesn't apply to allergies. And you can do either one, by the way. If one's out, for goodness sakes, go get the other one. Yep. Uh, but it, then the allergy formula is like having 10 different bottles of allergy deal. I mean, you got vitamin C, A, zinc, quercetin, uh, astragalus, uh, just on and on and on. And what a great product. Now, I take them both, and I do that because 
I, I don't want my allergy formula necessarily mixed with the others at times when I don't need them. So in, in any case, try allergy, and if you really have the allergy uh, coming at you, uh, go ahead and do the, um, the respiratory formula. Mm -hmm. And we have so many respiratory illnesses. Right now they're saying there's three. You've got uh, you know, flu and this one for a baby. RSV, and, yeah. uh, cold, common yep. cold. Yep. We're not saying we cure. We're saying that we help your body be prepared to fight back and hopefully recognize and get you past having this. And with allergies, uh, literally shut it down. Now, some people are two weeks, some people are two days, like Jason and Maya. I, yep. I, it works for me immediately. Others, though, it takes just a few days. Jason, do you find that the max is in your, you know, quotes, medicine cabinet at home, or uh, because you know the boss, uh, would you start taking this on a regular basis? Australia, Texas, you're always Saudi Arabia, you know, you, sure. you travel all over the map. So I, I find that the uh, on, on just a regular normal day that my 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 regular dosage I suppose would be the uh, the standard NSC and then uh, and then in spring and summer I, I use NSC 100 okay uh, along with the allergy and okay. so that usually keeps me pretty well done is it in my is Max in my medicine cabinet at home no it's in my bag I take <laughs> it everywhere I go because I travel a lot I'm in international sales so when I go someplace I I make sure that I have it with me because when I'm introduced to new allergens I'm able to then uh, address it straight away within 24 to 48 this hours is such an answer to prayer for so many people because people there's new antigens in Saudi Arabia, mm. you know, than there are here. Mm. And so here are people who run to an allergist, get an antihistamine, Benadryl, something like that. The And I love your answer, by the way. No, it isn't in my medicine. <laughs> it's in my bag yeah. in, the, in the dressing area there. Yeah. Okay, now how do you get the new Max? How do you get the respiratory, the allergy formula? How do you get a free sample of beta-glucan? Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back, friends. Thank you so much for being with us. Jason Jordan, Frank's son, you know Mark. Well, here's his other son. Jason is here. Frank is the NSC beta-glucan, micronized beta-glucan guy. I have to think back a few years ago, and on television, we had these tornadoes in Arizona that picked up sand and dirt, and it spread all, the, you could see from the sky all the way into California, dust, wind blows all of this. You think about the weather changes and people exposed to allergens. It's huge. It's critical that you get something in your system beyond normal that can help your body get homeostasis or protection. And when you can't, beta glue can. Please, please, for your asthma, for these things, allergies are one form, but asthma is something you don't mess around with. It can literally kill you. I've been an asthma baby where they would put me under an oxygen tent was mm -hmm. how the, the remedy came. And we just had Benadryl. Now we've got beta-glucan, and I take it regularly. I still have asthma. We don't cure it, but we enable you to get through it and get back and live a normal life. Mine was so bad on allergies, my parents wouldn't tell me where we're going on vacation because I'd get excited <laughs> and get allergies and blow it all for them uh, where they wouldn't get to go. So, it can give you a normalization of your life, which it's done for me. If I quit taking it 48 hours later, I'm going to have allergy symptoms. So there's an answer. There is an answer. It's, don't just treat symptoms. Go after the cause. And Jason can touch on the cause. Mm. Uh, well, the, the T1, T2. Yeah, the the, the cause is, is your, your, your T helper cells getting out of balance, basically, and your immune system giving you the wrong... Uh, wrong signals. So, uh, what what uh, beta glucan does is help get those back in balance. It helps them uh, uh, understand better what it's it, it's giving a false flag on things like mm -hmm. dust, like pollen, like the things that aren't really hurting you, but your body thinks it's going to. So this resets, right? Brings you back to homeostasis and lets lets your body understand what's actually happening to it. I remember years ago, I was an allergy technician when I got back from Vietnam, went through all this training. And I could not believe, this was an ear, nose, and throat office that I worked in in Los Angeles. The number of, I didn't know allergy was a big deal. I've been blessed, you know, mm -hmm. I've never had allergy in my life. 
but he was so crowded, shots and tests and blood draws and yeah. so forth. We finally have something, folks. If, does your allergy formula have beta-glucan in it? There's one that does. Are you taking a respiratory formula? Are you getting beta-glucan in that respiratory formula? You are if you're taking the NSC products. Frank, you took the beta-glucan idea and have heart formulas and joint formulas. And I mean, really was a great idea. And to those, you add beta-glucan. We did, Doug. And what's amazing is both Jason and I had what he called this prick test. is 52 pricks or needles in your back yeah. to determine what allergens affect you. We had all of them. Every one of them I had a severe allergic reaction, and that's where he says it wasn't seasonal. It right. was uh, perennial. It's, perennial. Yeah. We don't want you to go through that. You don't want that test. So get the allergy formula and the respiratory formula, and I would put that Max in my backpack too. The NSC Max is a unique product that's now available to you. Call us and get it today. Don't wait. Yeah. It's available for you, and that means relief. And a free sample. Thank you for free continuing sample. that. Boy, people absolutely love you. I think you all will be shocked when you see what Frank has done. Frank's made his mark. He's lived a great life, and he's bringing you a Max product at a min price. Thank you for all you do. Great to see you. Thank great you so here. much, Thank Jason. You. you bet. I was so blessed 40 years ago to have found a career that had its roots in biblical principles. My work researches the fungus linked to disease, but what does the Bible have to do with that? First, we all know that as people are perishing for lack of knowledge and with one in two men and one in three women getting cancer today, his people are perishing. But what does the Bible have to do with fungus? The books of Moses have 32 references to not using yeast, which is a fungus, in religious practices. Symbolically, an online encyclopedia called Theopedia teaches us that the removal of yeast then from the bread is analogous to removal today of sin from our lives. In Leviticus, God said if a mildew grows in a home in the land of Canaan, they were ordered to have it removed. But why was mildew so dangerous? The NIV Bible footnotes that this fungus could spread rapidly and promote disease. Thousands of years later, fungus continues to spread disease. For more information, visit my website, knowthecause.com. It is always good to see Frank Jordan. Equally fun for me to meet Mark, his son, who's now president of the NSC company, come in with him. But to meet Jason all the way from Australia and to learn about his health problems. I didn't know he had horrible allergies. This was the first time I met him. Um, folks, what does he do for that? An allergy formula that Frank put together right there on the left. The one next to it he was talking about today, within a day, taking one of these 100 milligram beta-glucan can really arm the immune system. The two on the right there, the NSC 100, is 10 milligram beta-glucan. And the one uh, furthest away, the blue one, is the NSC 3 milligram, which they say is a good maintenance dose. Really great to meet Jason. Always good to see this company. They're doing so well. Thanks to you. Take your beta glucan. And finally, now we know why diabetics seem so predisposed to yeast and fungal disorders. I hope the show helped. The preceding program, Know the Cause, was paid for by Mediatrician Incorporated.